So this is going to be the official announcement for the opening of the new Mystery Box Downhill Race. And uh, if I put this at the beginning of the video, sorry about that. I think I said I put it at the end and now it's at the beginning. So ignore that when I get to it. All you need to do is sign up down below. Just put something like you want to be in the race. I am going to be taking the first 48 people. And honestly, as soon as this video hits, you've got probably about four or five hours to get into the first 48. That's how fast it's been going lately. So the first 48 to sign up down below are going to be in. Now, you don't win anything. How this will work is the same format as last time. That was pretty fun is I will pick 48, 50 cars, and then we will pick like the NFL draft between me and my son. Whatever we pick, that's going to be randomly assigned to one of those 48 viewers that signs up down below. And we will see who wins. So you're gonna end up with a random car, you're gonna go downhill racing, and we will end up with a winner. It's just for fun, it's something we do here. It's one of my favorite things that we do. And this is the opening officially of the next mystery box downhill race sign up down below first 48 are in we are back and we're looking at well a few loosey-goosey things right now but we are going to announce the mystery box here in just a second so the long time listeners know what that means real quick i did get my uh, kmart send away car mail away car this is the uh el camino 71 el camino and i'm assuming that's going to be the paint scheme for this year pretty neat car some other folks have already covered it so most of you that ordered these have already gotten yours um strange note on this i ordered uh two of them we had enough cars for two and i only got one and I don't know if they're going to be sending me another one. They charged me for two. <laughs> they were more than happy to do that. The form and everything was filled out. Um, some other things going on here is one of the Peter Kong Customs. Now this one is not completely finished yet, but I wanted to give you an idea of what we had. The wheels do turn, there we go. The uh, wheels are just kind of dusty here. Um, the wheels right now are not glued into place, so they're kind of rattling around in there. But that's what it's going to look like. Also, I got a Ricky Lee Custom. This came in my last little, uh, I guess it was a trade box. We had, I had traded him some parts and pieces for his zombie killing customs. And he made me this very cool AA Arcuda, uh, one of my favorite cars of course so thank you Ricky that one will go upstairs in my office with my other customs people have given me and this one is going to uh, sit around until the truck is done and then we're going to send this off to Peter so once these are done we'll we'll show you uh, what they look like and then we'll send them off all right so oh also in the back those Ed and Pink uh, Chevy trucks that are back there that is for a custom job that I'm doing, just to kind of give you an idea of the planning that goes into the, when we do the big run of customs. One of the hardest things to do is to get enough wheels for customs. And so after a while, you get pretty good at figuring out which wheels, now those are the small and the medium sized five spoke wheels. There's a larger size. The large size is pretty easy to find. And finding the wheels isn't difficult, but finding the wheels in exactly the right size is. Fortunately, I have a friend that seems to have an unlimited supply of uh, garage and boulevard cars that if I buy them in bulk, he gives me a great price on them. But uh, sometimes we gotta mix and match cars, and it's not that I can't size the axles, but if I have to size the axles on, say, 30 cars, that could take three extra weeks where if I can find enough of the same car that'll work um, then these wheels I know for sure these wheels will come right out of these cars and they will go straight into what I'm working on so just to give you an idea there's a bunch of planning 
Also, the uh, decals and all need to be made and ordered. So it takes about two, three weeks just to order all the parts for those big custom runs. Okay, what y'all have been waiting for? The official announcement of the mystery box. Be back in just a second.